All right, so the Meros smart Wi-Fi garage door opener with ice cube making included. No, no ice cube making. So this little device um, is actually pretty easy to install if you know where to put the cable. So let's start with the basics. You do need a power plug. So I already had one. Most of you probably will have because of this device or similar so this is the existing garage door opener and someone had already put a power plug in the ceiling for that if that's there all you do is you if you don't have a second one you can use a, a double adapter like this and then you just power um, the device via the included USB adapter and cable uh, now the tricky thing is to figure out for your particular um, device um, so this is a Merlin 2 uh, MT230 or something um, where you have to connect the cables that actually control the motor. So in my case, this is how it was done. I did a bit of internet research and just connected the cables that come out of the little white box here like this. Just needed to undo these screws and then put the cable ends under there and that worked beautifully. So I could test that. Um, as soon as I put these um, cables in, I was able to open and close the garage door. Now that's the simple bit. The complicated bit usually is the sensor. So these, um, there's basically two parts to this. You have the device that controls the motor, basically just opens and closes the door. But then you also have a sensor that allows the device to detect whether the door is open or not. And that needs to be installed somewhere where um, uh, you can basically put one of the bits which is a magnet like this that comes on its own and you can just put that anywhere on the revolving um, garage door and the other part needs to be stationary so in my case um, this what i just showed you is the most accessible and as you can see as this comes down you will see the other part of the sensor come in there it is so that's the sense that's the magnetic sensor that's just stuck onto the side of the garage door and this bit i did a bit of um wooden support and then just ran the cable next to the massive black spider that's in the hole there don't tell my wife about it um and then it basically just runs across the ceiling and ultimately back to the mirror. So that's that's essentially it. So um, that's the I guess the hardware part of it, um, and the software part is um, the bit that you actually do first. So you download the mirrors up. I would recommend you do that. Um, and when I downloaded the Merosep, I wasn't able to um, add the device to, um, I'm using Apple HomeKit, so I wasn't able to do that. Um, I was just getting error messages. So what I did then instead was I added the device without the HomeKit option. Um, and that then allowed me to connect to the local Wi-Fi. And once I had done that, I was then able to do the HomeKit installation. And the reason you want to um, have your device listed in your Maros app that way, so you want to add it in there, um, is that you can then update the firmware. And I definitely recommend you do that. So before you basically do any of the hardware stuff, make sure you have the device upgraded to the latest firmware version. Um, and once you've done that, you can then um, connect the control cables, um, do a simple test to see that you can open and close the garage doors. And then once you've done that, you can do the rest of the installation. Now, the only other thing that um, was a bit um, unusual is that once I'd done all that, uh, I would keep getting a message saying that the garage door was obstructed in the Apple Home app. And a way to get around that was to go into the detailed settings in the Meros app for the device. And you get there by tapping in the um, rounded rectangle for the device that says garage door.
but outside of the actual icon or text that's the only because if you tap it it just opens and closes the garage door but if you tap outside in the white area you get to the advanced settings and then there's an opening time setting that you should increase to in my case i did 25 seconds um, a lot of people on the internet said 30 but 25 was enough for me and after i'd done that everything worked fine now i got the whole home automation going you can set it up so it automatically opens the garage as you um, come to the house and yeah all works beautifully <laughs>